Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Gaetano and I am one of the co-founders of The Creative Path. And today I'm going to show you how to add bonds to a character in Moho Pro 14, one of my favorite programs. So let's start. First off, I'm using Moho Pro 14. So in case you guys, something is different because you guys have an older version, just let me know in the comments below so that I can adjust the video based on, I, mean, I can add comments later. And another thing is that for those tutorial, I'm mostly going to work with vectorial files. And no worries, I know I have a thick accent. I'm gonna have subtitles. So I'm gonna port my file with general import or SVG, same thing. Let's do general import tutorial one and again, I don't know why it does that. So there we go. So consolidate means that the layer structure that you had created in your software stays the same. So if you had, for example, layer one, layer two, layer three, or for example, you had your la layer called GG, you know, for example, is gonna is not gonna change. See, as you can see, this is the layer structure they are created in the other software. There are those things, maybe it's a bug, I don't know, but at least the names are the same. So yeah, so we wanna make this bigger if we want. And then the first thing that we gotta do is to tell the software that this is a layer for bones. So we go here, we click right and we do convert to bone. And now you're ready to add bones. One important thing, very important thing, you need to be to do the changes to designs and to add bonds and things like that. You need to be in frame zero because the interface of Moho changed based on where you are. For example, if you are on frame one, the tools changes. So make sure that you are on frame zero. And um, and yeah, and that's it. So the first thing, the first thing that we gotta do is to is create the root bone. The root bone is it's like the mother of all bones in your character. So um, to create that, you need to select this, which is the add bone tool. You can do A or you can click here. Uh, so to add the root bone, we zoom in. And then you have, you, you can add a root bond, you can have a root bond that looks like this and another one that looks like this. I prefer this one because it's some project that I, be, that I created this one. It was, very, it has been always a struggle to select it. So I prefer this one. It's, it's easier to see and to select. So after we're going to create, create the child of this bond because between bonds, there is a relationship called a parenting relationship. Every bond has child. And it's very important because though this relation is, uh, this relationship is very important for the uh, cinematic, for the EK cinematic, for those things. Uh, it's cinematic in English? The IK, kinematics, for the kinematics. Now I've created the root bond. To create a child of this root bond, of this bond, of, of every bond, you, you need to make sure that the bond is selected. Then you go to the, um, to the add bond tool, you select it, and you add your bond. And then this is the child of this bond. Now, since this is selected, you're going to create another child. This is another child. And then this is another child. Now. To see that every, everything is going well, you want to check if your parenting is working. So you go here, you can see those arrow. This arrow means that this bond is dependent from this bond, which is dependent from this bond, which is dependent on this bond. So, so far, so good. The only thing that I don't like is that here, I made this to this bond too big. I want that this is the, um, the torso and this is the neck. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the, this one, the transform bond or T. So this circle moves the bond, uh, every dependent bond everywhere. This is state transforms it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it smaller. 
then I'm gonna move it upward then I'm gonna make it smaller then I'm gonna move this one ah nah Control Z there we go and then I'm gonna make this bigger and here we go yeah. easy now what I'm gonna do select um, this tool now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wanna create the arm and I want that this is the mother <laughs> I like using this term, sorry. This is the mother of um, the of the arm. So I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna continue. This, this, this. Now, so one shortcut that's very handy is in case you want to select something, you just gotta press Option or Alt, I think, in Windows to activate the the selection so see now I have selected this bond then I can continue to add bonds now I want to create the legs again option I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna go down again this and now, well, uh, well, now another thing that you gotta do every time you do um, you add bones, it's always check because the first struggle that I had when I was learning this software is that I was I, I wanted to animate, I wanted to animate, so I, I was rushing it with, I was I was um, jumping important passage in my learning path, and then I, I fucked up basically. So, and I remember that I was struggling because the bonding didn't work and why it didn't work because I didn't check if the relationship would be okay. So to check the relationship, you just gotta go here, the reparent bone or P, and then you check. See, this arrow lets you understand the relationship. This is dependent from this, which is dependent from this, which is dependent from this. The legs here, so everything looks okay. Let's test it with this, the manipulated bone, or Z, Z, and that, okay, those, those things, the blue things, ignore it. This is, we're gonna cover it in another, in, in the next class. So, um, but let's just focus on the, on the bone, and it works. Yeah, it looks like, if the artworks uh, bugs you, you just go here, display, you remove fills and then you just focus on the armature. Works. Again, don't worry about the blue stuff. See, this is the root bone, controls everything. So it works. Now, in case we want to change the relationship between those bonds, what you gotta do, you just need to select this tool, the repellent bond. You select the bond again, option. So you select the bond that you want to modify and then you click off and it removes the relationship and then you select another bond to okay no, sorry sorry does not work why <laughs> cool. okay let me see wait I, I, I don't know why I did that so you just select okay let's start over you select this I have this bone selected and then I select this now this bone is the son of this one let's see but what happens see Pfft, doesn't work so that's why it's very important but keep in mind that every character has its own bone structure so so yeah that's it for today and guys thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video like subscribe and share we're in your company and your support means so much for us so i hope to see you guys in the next tutorial and that's it for today bye